Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up and to a sales video where I'm going to try and make it so that the uh, games are incredibly affordable. Now I know that sounds ridiculous because surely in a sales video they're always affordable but you can have a 50% sale and it'd be like 20 quid. This time we're going to try and keep every single game under a tenner and also of a decent quality. Now no I don't hate your backlog, I'm not trying to make you buy more games but there are some decent little pickups if you know where to look. With that in mind you should definitely check out the website Deku Deals, I use it all the time so do if you see channels that like do sales videos, 9 times out of 10 they'll be using Deku, Deku Deals um, and they don't shout out, I've actually spoken to the creator of, of that website uh, and he says very often he gets no mentions or anything so yeah please do go check it out i'll actually pop a link to that in the description and on top of all of that you need to have played the games otherwise i mean what kind of recommendation is it so let's start off then with gris now i originally thought this was pronounced gris because i thought it was the french but i believe it's actually the spanish and i think that pronunciation is gris this is a beautiful melodic little um, adventure platformer with a few puzzle elements in there as well. It's down 75% to £3.62 until January the 14th, which is an absolute barjan. You play as a young girl who finds herself lost in this unusual world, almost halfway between reality and a dream. And to say it's stunning is an under, is it would be an absolute understatement, it really would. If you liked the artwork from Spiritfarer, then this will resonate with you massively. It looks incredible, it plays well. I don't think the gameplay is quite as good as the visual, I have to be honest. I still think it's well worth it. It's developed by Nomada Studio and published by everyone's favourite, Devolver Digital. The whole thing fits into 3.9 gigs and it'll take you around 6 hours to finish. That sale goes on until January the 14th and there is a physical available if you're a physical collector. Consider yourself lucky because uh, a lot of these games I've actually had to add in after the video was finished because none of them were actually on sale in the US region so I'm going to try and intersperse some US sales so that nobody misses out. The excellent Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 is currently 60% off in the US regions. There is a physical of that as, as well that you can also find for very cheap if you want to check places like Amazon. It has a beautifully striking A-bit style. It's not like um, run-of-the-mill this one in terms of the way they present their visuals. Everything contrasts so nicely and it manages to look crisp while still having that lovely pixelated charm. It's around about 10 to 15 hours long, it's just 109 megabytes and you can do one or two player, I'm not sure how that plays out if it's co-op mode or what, I should imagine that'll be the way it goes. Lost in Random was actually one of the few games on Switch that was published by EA, but it was developed by Zoink and Thunderfall. You probably know the name Thunderfall. They've got some cracking games, and so have Zoink. It's down to £2.49, that's 90% off, and it's a great little action adventure. It's got that Alice in Wonderland meets Grimm's fairy tale style kind of feel to it. And what it does really well is create a sense of place. So it's like you're genuinely visiting this this. Um, fairy tale land but with that macabre darkness to it it's also re a reasonable length it's quite long this one around about 14 or 15 hours so yeah if you want to go and help the main protagonist go find her sister then this might be an enjoyable little adventure game that's £2.49 90% off until January the 14th oh sure a little girl with a dice those coins can be traded for cards. Cards, cards, I got cards here, the greatest cards in the land. Shakedown Hawaii is at its lowest ever price, it's just $3.99. Now this one comes from V-Blank Entertainment, it's very much like your old school, I don't know what you'd describe them as, like a gangster em up where you have to go from rags to riches and take over a town, like, like the old school GTA games. You start out as a CEO who's at the end of his career really, and then yeah, after one thing leads to another you decide to go on a very different path. It's just a very fun game this. I always loved these top down like the old school GTA I loved that top down approach like Chinatown Wars that was a classic so yeah if you enjoy those you will absolutely love this and definitely enjoy that price. Again around 10 to 15 hours I'd say to finish it only 172 megs and that sale goes on until January the 11th.
Enter the Gungeon is down 70% on its reduced price, so it's now £3.29. It's easily one of the best roguelites. This is one you can play solo. I know a lot of people always say it's kind of one of the big questions when you have these titles that have the multiplayer aspect. But yeah, it's just as fun solo. You go in, you've got different characters you can control. They have different weapons. You can flip tables up to hide behind cover. It has a bit of a bullet hell feel to it as well. And the chaos is kind of interspersed with those down times where you're kind of backtracking or looking around for hidden items or chests and things. And then the whole thing notches up to 11 for those boss fights. Very good. Initially quite tricky, I have to say. It did take a while to get good at this one. But it's developed by Dodge Roll and another one pu published by uh, Devolver. And in terms of length, I mean, you could finish it in about 20 hours, but to complete it, Easily over 100. Great game. That sale goes on until January the 14th. If you're a Metroidvania fan, you've probably heard of Sundered Eldritch Edition, but there's a chance you haven't. It's down 75% to 4 dollars or your regional equivalent, and it actually has four-player co-op in it. There are a few good uh, Metroidvanias that do have co-op, things like Guacamelee, but Sundered perhaps gets a little overlooked. Now, it comes from a very famous studio on Switch, at least, and that's Thunder Lotus Games, who have got some cracking titles, but this came before a lot of them, and I think for that reason, Reason maybe isn't as well known. It's got an interesting mix of art styles and I think it is probably best played when you've got a group but I still I did still enjoy this. That's 3.2 gigs and that sale goes on until January the 15th. The definitive edition of Hob is down 80% to £3.59 which is a silly price. Now this does have a lot of sales that's uh I'd say a fair assessment, it goes on sale quite a lot. So it's not one that you kind of have to snap up before it disappears, you know, none of that nonsense. This is one that is very good, and if you like the look of it, then easily worth adding to your collection, but don't have to panic. Now it's an action-adventure puzzle game, and the main protagonist basically, as you can probably tell, loses their arm early on and gets this mechanical one, but that, that arm is tied to many aspects of the world and helps them to solve puzzles. Obviously it's quite useful for other things, giving you upgraded powers, allows you to punch things and warp around. And when this first came out, it was a bit of a mess. The performance wasn't great. They have patched it continuously. Well, not continuously, because it's, it's been out since like 2019, but they did for a year and a half. They were adding things to it and improving it. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better than it was at launch. That sale of 80% off goes on until January the 14th. You guys in the US regions, I've got a really nice deal on a hidden gem called Dismantle, which we reviewed on the channel quite some time ago now, but it very rarely gets sales. Now, essentially, the title comes from the fact that in this post-apocalypse, you can go around with your crowbar, dismantling, ripping up and collecting loot and things that you can then use to build up different aspects, towers, repairing them, putting up guns for defenses, and there's even uh, little animals that you can befriend within this universe. It's a very cool game, this. If you like post-apocalyptic survival, this is certainly worth considering. It has a download of about 1.2 gigs. It is a chunky old completion as well, about 30 to 50 hours. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, game in here. If you like things like the Wasteland series, then do go check out our full review of it. It's 50% off until January the 15th. Now a short hike is matching its cheapest ever price. It's down 40% to £3.77. This is so much hype around that everyone loved it. I actually don't know a single person that didn't enjoy this. But you do need to know going in what it's all about and the way it plays out. Don't expect a massive adventure that's going to take you hours. This is a one to two hour trek up a quite linear mountain but with freedom to kind of not finish it if that makes sense there's these characters and there's other little things of collecting feathers and things that you can choose to do it's weird isn't it because i've just called it linear but it's not linear but it is <laughs> i can't describe it like if you go from you could literally go from a to b almost um and finish the game and be like oh is that it or like many of us you can just exist in this little world for a few hours and chill out and I think developer Adam, Adam Robinson Yu um, just did a great job of kind of harnessing what it is to be a game. What, what's the, you know, what is the point of a game? 
hopefully to have some enjoyment and sometimes a bit of relaxation as well and yeah it just nails that now that price 40 percent off goes on until january the 14th we do have a full review if you want to go check that out Voyage is a lovely little game. Now this is a side-scrolling adventure, bit of a walking simulator. It's currently 50% off and it was developed by Venturos. Now I think this also has co-op mode in there. The issue with this one, and it's not really so much an issue, but obviously it's worth being aware of, is that it's very short. It'll only take you around two or three hours to finish. There's no violence in here, there's no, well there is some action, but it's not um violent action there's a little bit of puzzling as well but it's uh i guess it's like movie length isn't it like two two or three hours and much of the experience comes from the visual tied with the soundtrack which is absolutely cracking to give you some idea of the pedigree it's the same guy that did the soundtracks for pikaniku and snipper clips as well as uh what's the other one is it lovely planet yeah, I think that's what the game's called. But yeah, so you kind of know what you're expecting, uh, like a two or three hour long walking sim that looks stunning and sounds great. Subnautica is such a good game. It's down to £8.24. That matches the cheapest it's ever been, 67% off. And it combines um, a bit of sci-fi, a bit of survival, and a bit of like uh, almost the creative sides of Minecraft where you're building things. Now, hear me out, this is not Minecraft underwater, not even close. You find yourself shipwrecked on an on a alien planet, and then from your submarine you go out diving, and, and you gradually expand the storyline, and you can build up your initial area and construct different underwater habitats and things. It's quite nerve-wracking this, because when you get a submarine that can go really deep, you'll, you'll be diving down, and you'll start to see the, gr the glass like cracking and stuff. It's quite like a kind of freaks you out a bit. It's very mysterious. It has that fear factor to it as well when it gets dark as you progress underneath. And there are some moments as well that you'll go out onto land um, to move the story on. I really loved this. I thought it was amazing. Not the prettiest game I've ever played and it doesn't run perfectly on some of the islands. Like the main stuff's fine, but there's a couple of jankier moments. But the overall atmosphere was cracking. Now it's 5 gigs to download, it comes from Unknown Worlds, I don't think this one has a physical, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong, but the sale goes on 67% off until January the 14th. For fans of like the walking sim, you might really enjoy Gone Home, I think it's a bit of a hidden gem. It was published by Annapurna and it was developed by the Fulbright Company. And essentially you rock up to a house and you're walking around opening drawers, reading people's letters and things, and you're, you're gradually uncovering a bit of a mystery. It describes itself as an interactive exploration simulator, which sounds really boring. <laughs> like it just sounds really boring, doesn't it? But it's not at all if you like this genre. Now it was actually created by a couple of veterans um, from the Bioshock series. And it's like stepping into a time machine and rocking up at your house in the 1990s. There's so many things in there that will just make you go, oh I remember those. There is also in this version, and I'd highly recommend it, um, a 90 minute commentary by the developers, the musicians and the voice work uh, artists that I found playing after you would played through the two or three hour long main story really adds a layer to it and yeah kind of I think it's well worth the price they're asking now at the moment it's just £3.49 71% off uh, and the whole thing fits into just over three gigs so yeah if you're after something slightly different if you like this style I would highly recommend this one there are a few games that you find especially some of these RPG adventures that get um basically called uh, like masterpieces and things like that and I think that's not necessarily the gameplay it's the storyline and to the moon I wouldn't call it a masterpiece because I, I very very rarely use words like that but I think narratively it's excellent it tells an excellent story very very um, moving it has subject matter which will make you I don't know, I always like a, a game or a film that makes me think about my own existence and things like that and, and how long we have on this on this uh, planet. And this is one that, you know, might, might make you think a little more deeply. If you're of a sensitive nature and you don't want something that handles um, death specifically, then I would say avoid this one. But if you, yeah, if you're okay with that, then the story here, it's take you around four or five hours and it'd be one of those shorter games that you remember for a lot longer. 
uh, other than that. I don't want to say anything about the two main protagonists and their job because it will really spoil the story. Um, so I'll just say it gets my wholehearted recommendation. It's 40% off, slightly more expensive than the other ones we've talked about. It's £6.47, so it's not expensive, but yeah, 824 megs, and that sale goes on until January the 11th. Quake 2 at 60% off, an easy recommendation. That's £3.19. If you know the work that Night Dive Studios have done with some of these re-releases, this is just fantastic. It really is. It performs silky smooth. It looks better than it ever has done. It's got content, um, certainly in terms of visual effects and things, that were never in the older versions. You can do split-screen co-op, which is an absolute blast. And it also includes Quake 2 64 for free. So yeah, you're getting a lot of game here, a lot of co-op gameplay and like action co-op gameplay, which is always nice. And it also does include the original mission packs, the Reckoning, which is 18 campaign levels and seven deathmatch maps and Ground Zero as well. So there's just a ton in here for a few quid. Bear in mind though that Quake is also on sale at 67% off down to 263. So you could pick them both up for absolute peanuts. That sale, like all these others, goes on until January the 14th and it's 60% off. Alright, I want to put in a super addictive hidden gem. Now you're going to look at this and go, no, not, not for me, thanks Mark, what are you on about? But Disc Room is insanely, insanely addictive. It's only from a very small development team and you're essentially moving from room to room, as the title suggests, trying to survive as these discs are all blasting all over the shop. And it's one of those where the premise is so simple, but the execution, not necessarily so difficult, but it's challenging enough that you just want one more run. You want one more try. Now, it gets a lot more complex than simply dodging discs. But the core premise is basically just that. This is down to its cheapest ever price. So it hasn't been this low. I think it's been this low maybe once before, um, but it's £4.45 or your regional equivalent, 390 megs, and that sale goes on until January the 14th. A real hidden gem in my opinion, and one that has a demo. So you can go play the demo and get a, get a feel of it. It's called Jack Move. This is 40% off, so it's the most expensive one, £9.29, which is peanuts. It's developed by So Romantic and published by Hyper Hyper Train, Hyper Train Digital. It really did remind me um, of old school Final Fantasy VII, or just the feeling I got when I first played that game. You play it as uh, Noah. They're essentially um, a vigilante hacker from a place called Bright Town. There are a few cliches in here. You've got the overarching mega corporation doing bad things, but they actually um, kidnap her father. And I'm sure you can imagine what you have to then go and do. Now it's got a very cool um, stylized pixel art that really does stand out. The dialogue is is well written. Now I've, I've played a few games recently where I've enjoyed the game a lot, but the dialogue hasn't been great. I think this is really good dialogue. You have to use various offensive and defensive buffs during the uh, combat. And that obviously fits into the cyber universe with like uh, almost like modifications and chip inserts and things. Now, Jack Move, that one is around about 10 hours long in total. The sale for it goes on until January the 14th. Last but not least, then, in what's had quite a few hidden gems, isn't it? We've got Chicken Police Paint It Red. You might be like, what on earth? This is like an anthropomorphic adventure, um, like old school adventure game. It's really cool. Like the whole thing's um, narrated. It's a pair of um, detectives that used to work together and they're kind of forced back together to solve a new crime. But it has that combination of like the 2D and 3D and uses quite a, an interesting interrogation system. Now, once upon a time, we did a video of this one, um, a sponsored video a long, long time ago. And yeah, I was, uh, just pleasantly surprised by how good it was. It would be worth going and checking out that video to find the nuance if you're slightly interested in this one. But it also has a cracking soundtrack in there. Now it's 50% off, it's £8.99 and it was developed by The Wild Gentleman. It's a good name that, isn't it? <laughs> Sale for that is uh, January the 14th and it does have a physical if you're a physical collector. So that's it. It was like a list of hidden gems and Savaloys. There are a ton of other games that would be uh, interesting, things that you might want to pick up, things like Super Meat Boy, which are just brilliant games. 
That's only 25% off though. The Legend of Chan Ding is supposed to be very good, but I haven't played it, so I won't recommend it because I just think that's, I don't know, a little bit disingenuous.